Hi, aloha. My name is Jennifer O'Neill, and I'd like to welcome you to the Spiritually Wealthy podcast. Um, today, I want to be talking about the super blue moon because the effects are like a lot, a lot, a lot. <laughs> so if you're sensitive like me, I think that you'll probably want to know what to expect and what's happening regarding all of this crazy, crazy energy. In fact, it's so nuts, I had to uh, write a few things down. So that being said, one of the things that I notice right off the bat is everything is amplifying. The energy, the emotional energy, relationship energy, any any way that you're feeling, it's like it's amplified a lot in the last couple of days and will continue to do so for a few days after the moon uh, kind of is no longer a full moon. That being said, Venus is going to go direct on the third as well. So we kind of have a lot of things happening. We've got uh, the super blue moon. We've got Venus going direct. We've got Mercury in retrograde. We've got Jupiter going in retrograde. Like it's like a whole crisscross mesh of stuff going on. And again, for those of you who are like me, you may find you're feeling pulled all over the place, every which way in a way that is not awesome. I guess I would say. I do not love the energy right now, but we'll make it through like we always do. Especially helpful when you understand which ways, why we're being pulled in these different directions. So as Venus is moving out of retrograde, you want to know that you're still might be having some past relationships or past issues with relationships and re- working, reassessing what's kind of going on with those. Some people found that they reconnected with loved ones more in the earlier phase of Venus being in retrograde. I'm noticing that more at the end phase, you might find yourself more agitated, irritated with more loved ones, relationships, or things like that, like where you typically are not. Also, with the super blue moon, you might find that those emotions where you typically typically don't get angry at, you know, whoever, spouse or loved one or whatever, and now you are, and then you add the blue, the blue moon energy, the super moon energy, and it amplifies. So where you're normally pretty zen or calm or don't like think about things, or, you know, you're in a pretty good mood, you're not in a good mood. And now you're super not in a good mood. You're like really amplified about not being a good mood in a good mood. And that is something that I'm not really loving that energy because I am really pretty Zen, but it feels the the tension around the the energetic patterns of the planets and what's happening with the moon. It feels tense. It feels a little bit edgy, aggravated. It's just, it's not the best feeling. And it's weird because I always refer to friends when I'm talking to people like the show friends and people who know me will laugh about this. But it reminds me of when Phoebe was yelling at one point in time. I was like, I don't like my voice like this. Like, that's how I feel. Like I'm never like this. And so that's been not so fun. Uh, the other thing is there's a lot of emotional energy regarding, again, relationships and also money. So relationship dynamics and regarding money. And since everything's amplified, again, relationship dynamics may be taking you off more than normal and money stuff may be worrying you more than normal where you're like, oh, this, you know, I don't know if this is going to work out, or I don't know how this is going to be, or I feel like maybe I'm moving backwards, or I don't feel as abundant as I should be when typically you're pretty zen about like your money moving forward. And this whole thing with Jupiter and the money and the supermoon is kind of weird, because if you tune in and intuitively you will notice that as far as money goes with the big picture, you will feel, just take a minute if you're having money issues. I want you to take a minute to tune into your intuition and just feel how your money flow feels towards the end of the year. 
it, you know, how it feels moving that direction, because you will typically find that actually things feel like they're flowing good and properly, but because of this energy that's kind of messing with us, your brain will be like, ah, panic, complete, just like, yeah, but this is can happen. And I feel like that can happen. And this bill might throw me over the edge or this unexpected expense. And so your brain will want to contradict your money energy. And it will also want to counter, counter to contradict your intuition. So it's not the best time. Well, actually, I don't feel like most times are the best time, truthfully. You never want to really go with your mind over your intuition. Um, using both is great. And using them to balance with each other. Like uh, I'm going to take some of your information from the mind and I'm going to take some of my, your information from the intuition and we're going to use that to balance each other. That's the best way to go. But choosing to do your freak out in your head that's not attached to your intuition over your intuition, that's just never good. Never, ever, ever good. So also now's a good time to reassess money stuff and long-term money goals and just to kind of go through your budget see where things are look at the bigger picture because that will help you to align more with your intuition and not so much with the freak out part of this amplifying energy of what wants to happen so now is just astrologically a good time to work through the finances make a plan i would you know, write down your bills again, how you're going to pay some things off, maybe what you want to do for goals, maybe utilizing some money for the future. So that's really good. Also, with this energy, you might feel pressure, just tension and pressure of, well, I need to get this done, or I need to figure out how to do this, or just any thing that might be going on in your life, you might feel like, it becomes a pressure cooker situation. Even though that you know with your mind and your intuition, it's not a pressure cooker situation, the energy will feel like you're in a pressure cooker. So that's also fun, right? So keep that in mind that you don't wanna get overzealous, overheated. You don't wanna go down a spiral of, I am feeling so much pressure with this. I'm feeling so much pressure with this. You want to ignore it. You want to take a step back, allow this planetary energy to kind of crisscross and move the way it's going to. So allow you know Jupiter to go in retrograde, Venus to come out of retrograde, allow the full moon to pass, allow Mercury to do its thing allow these crisscrossing of energies to just clear then you can freak out if you want to in like i don't know three to four weeks but and right now just kind of allow a step take a step back if you're feeling emotional take a step back if you're feeling pressure take a step back if you're worrying about money take a step back if you feel like you might get in an argument with somebody just again move back because these are going to potentially have you acting in ways that don't feel uh, familiar or awesome to you because everything is going to be like possibly a freak out. Okay. And so there's that. The other thing is Jupiter is also a creative planet. So there's going to be some cool things to do potentially involving travel coming up in the next few months uh, for some of you and or putting together some creative things, uh, putting together possibly gatherings, uh, using your creativity. Maybe you might be becoming creative with how you make money. You might be just using your creativity to make money, maybe a craft, maybe um, design something, you know, or maybe it's time for you to redecorate your house or, you know, make your space feel amplified and creative, make your space like kind of take out some of the old energy and be creative with your energetic environment and what you're working with. That is something that you're probably going to feel 
in the next two to four months, or you're you might be projecting out in the next two to four months of how you can be creative with your money, how you can use your art or creative aspects to make money, how to be creative in gatherings and just, you know, kind of anything involving creativity. That will be something that you probably might be urged to do in the next two to four months. And timing is really good in the next two to four months. So take a step back from everything. I think we're going to make it through, but it's something that does feel very intense. Remember, it's not intense because it, you're in the thick of things and you need to be freaking out. It's you're in the thick of things. You need to step back because nothing's as bad as it seems. All right. So I guess kind of that should be our ending theme is nothing's as bad as it seems. Use your intuition, restructure your money. Don't be picking fights with people. <laughs> you know, just calm it down. If you feel like you need a minute, go count to 10 somewhere. Um, but definitely be aware that you might be a little bit more, more edgy than normal. All right. One last thing I wanted to remind you is, especially with full moon energy and different things like that, and what's going to be happening the rest of the year, it now is a very, very good time to clear ancestral energy. That is going to be hugely important. It affects your health. It affects your money flow. It will affect manifestation moving forward you would be shocked at how much ancestral energy will kind of have weighted areas in your chart the way that you are attached and tuned in to ancestral energy the way that it moves with you through life unless you clear it is kind of mind-boggling really and so i have uh, an ancestral clearing meditation coming up on Wednesday, which I will put the link down below. If you've missed it, the link will still be there because even though it's a live Zoom class, you can still take it. But I really, really highly suggest clearing that karmic energy, clearing that ancestral energy for for here from here on out. It's really going to shift things for you moving forward the rest of this year and it's going to be extremely important so as always don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed this podcast i hope that you loved it i hope you find it helpful or you may want to send it to somebody who you might think is being a little bit aggravated i guess we'll say that's a nice way to say it all right so until next time have the most amazing day aloha bye